Hey guys, Bub here, and today we're going to attempt to run Windows XP mode on Windows XP. For those of you who don't know, Windows XP mode is an application developed by Microsoft, which was intended to help new users to Windows 7 run their legacy Windows XP apps. On their official web page, which is still surprisingly up, system requirements say you need Windows 7, which is how this was used to be intended. However, we are on Windows XP, and we are going to try to use it today. So the first thing we have to do is, of course, download Windows XP mode, and we want to download... Let's try this one, because it just looks better. So, I installed a fresh version of Windows XP, however, Internet Explorer was not working for whatever reason, so I did have to install Firefox. But this is a clean install of XP. There's really nothing besides a flashlight, but there's really nothing else on it. Like, there's your, uh, there's the install medium, so there's really nothing else on it. Okay, so now that uh, our file downloaded, we can open it and run it. And it seems to be working fine, I thought. Maybe. And here's the problem. XPMMSIL launcher is not a valid Win32 application. So, in this case, um... I can try installing a 32-bit version of Windows XP because I don't think that this is a 32-bit version, which is kind of disappointing. But I mean, compatibility, I don't think we can run, <laughs> we can't run anything. We can only, like, eh, just for fun, let's run it as Windows uh, 95 because I see no issues with doing that at all. where we can freeze our computer. So here we are, I installed a 64-bit edition of Windows XP Professional, and we still have the same issue. Time for a backup plan. All right, guys, I am back, and I have a similar solution to the Windows XP mode for Windows XP. So I installed the latest version of VirtualBox, which surprisingly still works in um, Windows XP. And I installed another XP machine. So what we are going to do is, it's very slow, my MacBook is probably about 100 degrees right now, and it is about to blow up, I can probably cook an egg on it, um, is we're going to change the virtualized XP to a classic theme. So we know what's virtualized and what's also virtualized but not. And what we can do is, this is very similar to what XP mode does, however it's not as, it's not as integrated into the OS as XP mode is, we can go to view seamless mode. Although what we're going to do is we're actually going to open a thing first. So let's just open Tor Windows XP. It should bring me up a little icon up here, maybe, like that. So we want to go to View, Seamless Mode, Switch. And we actually do get our taskbar down here. However, what we can do is we can just uh, click... Uh, we should have an option to get rid of this somehow. So we can auto-hide the taskbar, Apply, OK. And there goes our taskbar. So what we can do now is we can now open, and if we want, we can. Here's our second XP. So let's just open my documents, and my documents. So this is basically XP mode. What it is is XP mode basically virtualized in virtual PC, and it had it in seamless mode. That's basically all XP mode was, and I can see how it would really help in. I can see how it would really help workflow in Windows 7 and compatibility in general. So we can just go in here, we can go to run, which is actually right here, or open Windia Player, and run, and just do CMD. And you can't really tell the difference because they're both in classic mode. But, I mean, it's a pretty cool concept. I mean, it's, not, it's nothing really new, but it's pretty cool. Alright guys, so since Windows XP did not run Windows XP mode very well, and we had to go around the official XP mode, we're going to try doing it on Windows 10. Now yes, this is an older version of Windows 10, I did not have the time to download the ISO. And yes, this is a virtual machine, so do not mind the activate Windows. So actually, what we can actually do is, if it doesn't work regularly since we're on a newer version, we can run this as a Windows 7 application, which we will see if it will work regularly. But it always seems to get stuck here, even on Windows XP. 
which I find really weird. I've never tried XP mode on Windows 7. We might have to do that later in this video if this doesn't work. But it seems to install. It's only support on Windows 7. But, it seems like they already thought of this. Maybe it'll detect compatibility mode and not run. I don't know. We're going to find out. And it still says that it's only compatible on a Windows 7 OS. No, this did not work right. Um, so even though I told it to run in compatibility mode for Windows 7, it did not run at all. So I guess we'll try the recommended. No. But okay. But it's still running as it looks like a Windows 7 window now. Alright, so it does look like that they actually decided to not support it, and they actually knew what they were doing when they developed it, so they only let it run on Windows 7. Which is kind of disappointing, because, you know, it would be nice to run Windows XP on, like, Windows 10, but, I mean, there's really no point anymore. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the new support on this channel. I hope to continue that. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.